Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Dealing with some partly cloudy, or excuse me, some partly sunny skies out there this morning as we do have some cloud covering the area. Winds have ramped up quite a bit since the morning briefing, seeing some gusts around 31 to 33 miles per hour uh, on the main basin island. And temperatures have warmed up quite a bit, likely leveling off, uh, peaking right around now uh, with temperature around 63 degrees. If we take a look at the current surface analysis. We do have a stout high pressure to the north of the area that has set up a tight pressure gradient over our local area that's bringing us these gusty winds. We do have uh, another disturbance over Texas at the moment that will be our next weather maker as we get into the beginning of next week. If we look at the upper level winds from this morning's balloon sounding, we can see those strong northeasterly winds in the lowest 6,000 feet becoming west-southwesterly as we go up through the column with a peak wind around 25,000 feet of 35 knots, and the freezing level is at 13,200 feet. Look at the current visible satellite. At the moment, we can see some of that low cloud that is spreading, uh, kind of scattered across the region at the moment, as well as plenty of high cloud material streaming through the region, and not quite showing the wind gust as these observations are a little lagged, but uh, we do have a pretty strong northeasterly wind at the moment, and we are currently in a wind advisory. We look at the short-term high res resolution model as we go throughout the day today expecting a continuation of mostly cloudy uh, likely becoming overcast conditions as we get later in the day expecting things to remain dry we'll have a very slight chance of seeing a few sprinkles that probably won't be measurable or very impactful as we do have that low level moisture building with that northeasterly breeze and these conditions will continue as we go throughout the weekend uh, with plenty of low cloud material in the area with mostly cloudy overcast conditions pretty much continuing through the weekend and into Sunday. Again, continue with that very slight chance of seeing a few sprinkles across the region uh, with that low level moisture. If we zoom out and take a look at the longer term model, again, we see starting off Sunday morning, we see that disturbance that was over Texas starting to approach the area as we get towards the end of the weekend and into Monday. Timing for this rain event has shifted to kind of later in the day on Monday. Could see a few sprinkles out ahead of it, but later in the day and into the overnight hours, Monday and into Tuesday morning, with a few showers lingering into late Tuesday morning, maybe uh, the earlier part of the afternoon before finally clearing out of here. And then we'll have high pressure building back in by the middle of the week, uh, likely keeping things quiet and dry for the remainder of the week and into the weekend. So if we look at our 24-hour weather risk chart, we are red for winds above 25 knots at the moment as we are in that wind advisory and continuing that threat as we go into the afternoon hours before we'll see those winds start to taper down as we go through the overnight hours. Again, sitting around our high temperature at the moment, around 63 degrees, and then we'll see things cool down just to around 52 as we get into Saturday morning, and we'll see those winds lighten up a bit out of the north-northeast at 9 to 14 knots. Tides are running slightly above normal and will likely continue to do so as we have that uh, persistent onshore breeze out of the northeast. If we look at Saturday, again, continue conditions, mostly cloudy to overcast and slightly breezy for our Saturday, but looks to remain below that 25 knot threshold for Saturday and a very slight chance of those few sprinkles with a high around 62. Going into Saturday evening, another mostly cloudy to overcast evening with just a slight breeze and we'll have that slight chance of seeing some low clouds in the area. Uh, particularly early in the morning on Sunday. Uh, and again, that very slight chance of a few sprinkles with a low around 52. And we are yellow for these reduced ceilings uh, with that chance of seeing some of that low cloud material in the area. Sunday looks like another mostly cloudy overcast day with a slight breeze and that very slight chance of sprinkles as well, but a slightly warmer day with a high around 65. If we look at the extended forecast as we get into Monday, we see a very slight chance of a few sprinkles in the beginning of the day and a better chance of showers moving into the area uh, later in the day and into the overnight hours, looking at about a 50% chance for our Monday evening into Tuesday morning. But otherwise, expecting highs for Monday and Tuesday in the upper 60s with lows in the mid to upper 50s. And then as we go into Wednesday, we'll see things start to clear up with a high around 69 with mostly sunny conditions and lows in the mid to lower 50s and as we get into Thursday continue partly cloudy to mostly sunny conditions with a high around 67. 
Well, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again Monday at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.